this is press already welcome back to sap btp in this video i am going to demonstrate to you how to create a space and how to add sap hana cloud and hana database in it so let's begin this video you can see this is my sub account and in order to create a space you need to go down a little bit see you can see here create a space you need to give the space name i am giving the space name as prasad and you, you need to assign space roles to it so i am assigning space developer space supporter space manager and space auditor for this see my space has been created click on it this is my space and you can deploy your applications over here and you can see on the left hand side you can see sap hana cloud click on that here you can create a sap hana database see in the right hand side you can see a create option over there you can create sap hana database and data lake so i'm creating sap hana database uh i'm choosing my default identity provider you need to give your password and email id over there see my sap hana cloud central is loading see this is the interface of sap hana cloud central and from here i am choosing the sap hana cloud and sap hana database click on the next step see this is the organization and this is the space and the instance name is db admin and administrator password you need to give the administrator password over here by default sap will give memory uh, 30 gb and storage 120 gb and compute two vcpus okay and this is the version so i'm going to the next step so i'm create and this is the advanced settings whether you for allowed connections only ip address or specific ip address or allow only btp ip address you need to change it and after that you need to go to the next step and create a data like instance whether you want it or not as you wish if you want to create a data lake you can click on this otherwise not required so i am reviewing and create instance so you can see all this information over here what is the organization space and what are the uh, instance name user password versions size advanced settings everything over here and you need to create an instance so whether its uh, instance has been creating or not see uh, still it is in pro progress so after it is done we can open 
HANA Cockpit, HANA Cloud Central, Database Explorer, SQL Console, everything over here. See? See, now it has been created. Okay. So, now we'll check in the action step. From here, you can go to the HANA Cockpit, HANA Cloud Central. You can export Database Explorer and you can open SQL Console. So, I'm going to the HANA Cockpit from here. You need to give your database user login credentials. This is the username and password we have created already. This is the interface. The status of database is running. The user is DBA admin and the host is the link. So from here, you can manage everything. You can see your alert notification over here. You can see the disk usage. You can see the memory usage, the used memory, the residence memory. You can SQL statements also over here. And you can check the CPU usage from your, you can monitor performance. You can see the connections to the SAP HANA cloud. You can monitor performance, monitor table usage, everything. You can threads, active, block, each and everything you can manage from here. You can directly open SQL console from here. See, this is your <coughs> see this is your SQL console you can type the commands over here this is the catalog and we can see everything over here and the database diagnostics files and the HDI containers this index has statements, tables, procedures, SQL functions, everything you can manage from here thank you all for watching this video if you have any doubts regarding this video, please post me in the comment section. We will discuss over there. Thank you.